Hello, everybody, and welcome to Life is Like Fiction Live. I'm Jimmy Buckley, and my co-host and sidekick, my son, Evan. Howdy, howdy, guys. And uh, we have absolutely no intention of taking anything serious today. Why? Because we just don't feel like it. This it's week not, already it's not, seri- has been, it's not a serious day. It's it's been it's been one of those weeks where you just want to kick life in the tenders and say take that. So uh, we were <laughs> we were we were looking at some some fun things to uh, to talk about. Found some fun sites asking some odd questions. We were looking at some uh, <laughs> pretty fun posts. Where were you finding those? Were those on Imgur? That you were no, those up are before? the conversation starters here. So we have no, a, no, no. I meant the I meant the pictures and things that you were showing before. Oh, Reddit. You, there's, oh, a, Reddit? there's a subreddit called Funny, and it's just it's just millions and millions of posts upon posts upon posts. I have had a oh gosh, I've had an account on Reddit forever, and I don't ever go there. It's like another language that I had to figure out how to it, use. It, it is, I, and I only go there for a few things. But uh, I'd like to go there for. Uh, writing and their writing prompts are awesome. You know, some of my some of my favorite ones is they had like come up with come up with like uh, one sentence horror stories. Uh-huh. Um, or uh, but they seem to be a lot of these subreddits seem to be very encouraging. They seem to be oh a lot of supportive Mark. communities instead of you know if, if you go to like Imgur, you're either in or you're torn apart. Your well, flesh I, is torn with teeth. Okay, well, I'm just going to preface it and say the internet's like that, and anywhere where people con- congregate, but anywhere where males congregate, it's worse. Reddit okay. and Imgur are almost the same thing. Generally, people who use Imgur use Reddit. They're are they much primarily are They, they primarily used to be tight communities. Yeah. Huh. Um, cause I'm just thinking so, of Jordan Peterson, how he's so, saying that, you know, like YouTube is, is primarily, primarily male. male. The, there's only, there's only two primarily female social media, Tumblr, which uh-huh. is like 80% female Okay. and Pinterest, which well, is Pinterest which is like, isn't social media though. It's not social media. Okay. Just letting you know. Um, <laughs> anyway, but, so but yeah, I do see that. Um, what about Instagram? Is that split? So I see guys on there. Yeah, Instagram's is... Instagram's all over the place. <laughs> Instagram was awarded the uh, the social media most likely to cause mental illness in teenagers. What? <laughs> I don't know what the criteria is besides looking at it and everyone posting pictures of stuff, and you're like, you should see someone. <laughs> I want to create a new stream on a on a just a I don't I don't know. I've... <laughs> Fake account or a side account in case it gets shot down. I just wanna, I wanna, I wanna do a do a daily or weekly thing called uh, midnight wanderings what's, through Walmart. Just I have another one. Just what's up, stupid, and just all the things that you encounter. Now, here's here's the problem with Instagram. Here's why I can't stand Instagram. Okay. All of a sudden, everyone thinks that they're an uh, an artist, an artist, a designer. photographer, a designer, and it's just. <laughs> it's bad you know and it's it's like it's like i have this phone how many things can i take a picture of put a filter on and be like i'm so artistic yes it's like oh i'm sorry um your world is not all white how do i know that because you're a freaking parent no it's not that wall's not white i knew i know that little johnny was painting with his poop on that last night it's like you a know? filter on it he's He's, he's playing with SpaghettiOs. Like, <laughs> drawing a picture for dad. I don't, you know. <coughs> and then you have that, like, like no, that that's not true. What? You think someone would go on the internet and lie? <laughs> internet is 90% lies. <laughs> oh, you really have to know how to navigate <laughs> and be able to take things... With a barrel of salt, not a pinch of salt. Uh, oh my goodness! You swim in the Great Salt Lake, <laughs> and it's not not enough. But here's the problem: you're taking it without much salt, and then you get salty, <laughs> and you're just bitter about everything. <laughs> you, every subject, every you know, I don't know. It's it's kind of like that joke uh, from Scrubs, like uh, they pull on Ted. Ted, we 
we pulled you in here because you were throwing rocks at couples in the park. And he's sitting there like, <laughs> why do they get to be happy? <laughs> I feel like the internet's one big Ted throwing rocks at people. You know, like, you know, someone's happier. Than, like, look what we just got. We're all like banging on the throwing <laughs> rocks at them. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> you know. <laughs> and, and it's, it's funny. It's like, it's like parents. It's two, but there's two sides to that. You got the people that are throwing rocks. You got the people that are trying to convince everyone else how happy and how perfect they are. And it's funny because some of these accounts are friends of mine that I go to and I know them in real life. And sometimes when I meet with them, I'm like, I let, so how, what do you think of my Instagram? I think your Instagram's excellent. I think it's beautiful. You're a freaking liar. I think you need to but put it's on a shirt. Awesome. You're going to poke someone's <laughs> eye out, dude. Like you can only stand in front of your mother's mirror so many hours a day. <laughs> no one's going to take you seriously. You know, that's one thing that I've done is that I never, ever, ever, ever follow an account where a guy is taking selfies. Well, the the girls it's are just, bad it's enough. Like, it's annoying as crap. But like, I don't it's, know. It's, it's a like, whole, what do you do for a living? It's I'm, a, a, I'm, a, I'm an Instagram model. What the hell does that mean? Like, what, what does that even I mean? I spend time in my room going... That's and it's so and it's just flooded with these. And everyone's like, I'm artistic. Like, no, you're autistic. <laughs> That's why you don't leave your house. You take pictures of yourself you put it on the internet. You go back to your house. You order the clothes off Amazon. Oh my heck! For him. Oh my heck! No, I okay. No, keep going. I found something. I found something it's... on Netflix. I found something on Netflix. I don't know, it's and I have I have to look it up. I have to look it up because because I found a program last night that I watched before, and make sure this doesn't autoplay. Uh, that I found uh, because I used to watch uh, uh, oh the Jerry Jerry Seinfeld one, the one with uh, you know coffee and cars and yeah, uh, what is it? Comedians and cars or something like that. Yeah, comedians and cars getting coffee. Okay. So there, I'm going to look for her picture. He took a girl, and she, I guess, is a YouTube sensation, apparently. And she, man, she freaked me out. Oh, Miranda. Like Miranda. Uh, uh, lots, of, uh, lots of lipstick? Yeah, the Miranda, big red, Miranda whatever. Sings. She's a YouTuber. Uh, Can't I, stand her. I know, but oh my goodness. Netflix did an original. It's a show. Yeah, hers was terrible. Oh my goodness. It's so bad. Anyway, it just, it made me laugh though. Cuz you know what, at the end of the show, he stays after and they they go back after they do the credits, they go back. She's a cute lady and she's very smart. She's like, "I know this is a, he's like, "Why do you do this?" And she's like, it was just a really odd idea, and I just decided to go with it. It was just a, you know <laughs> she's wiping all the stuff off and doing her hair out, and I was like, "Oh wow, she's actually cute and intelligent." She's like, and and she has a hard time being out of that makeup because she gets embarrassed because it's you know that's an intense yep. character. Well, and I, I think the thing is, is like the more people like entertainers, the more uh -huh. they entertain, the more they find what people want, the more they become those personas, and the harder it is to break kind of break out of that on camera um so they kind of become become that um niga higa is a good one um and uh it's called haters back off yeah it was, it was, it was, it was just just terrible so <laughs> i'm sorry it's like it was funny anything, was watching simon about... simon carly winnie watching that with me on the large screen TV last night, and they're sitting there stunned watching her with her younger sister, who's in high school, who's normal and intelligent. And she's like, You can't do that. And Miranda will answer, and your brothers and sisters are watching, going, And then they start laughing. I'm like, What's so funny? What's wrong with her dad? <laughs> so. Well, anyway. and that's the question you ask yourself on almost every Instagram page or something you look up and it's okay it's the same thing with like most startup YouTubers you have a question you want to ask 
or something. So you type uh-huh. it into Google, whatnot. It leads you to the YouTube video. You're like, oh, there's a YouTube video. Okay. Maybe I can get an answer. What starts is this coming through at, at a billion and one decibels. Hey, y'all, it's me again. Welcome to my videos. And they go through like a three-minute monologue before they get to the question. Don't forget to smash that like button and do all this. And you're just like, and I'll find the information on my own somewhere else. <laughs> you know? And, and part of it, too, is like when it's 2 o'clock in the morning and you can't sleep and you're sitting there on your iPad and that comes on. And I don't know. It's... It's, it's the word. It's just, it's like, just give, give me the information, give me the, and let's just go from there. Anyway, what got us here, what I wanted to say, so we're, with Reddit, they have, they have uh, two sentence horror stories. Um, so there were like, uh, this one, um, she wondered why she was casting two shadows. After all, there was only a single light bulb. Um, let's see. Uh, look at a couple of these. There were there were some of them that um, uh, working the night shift alone tonight. There's a face in the cellar staring at the security camera. Uh huh. Um, they delivered the mannequins and bubble wrap from the main room. I began to hear popping. How about this one? You wake up. She doesn't. She asked why I was breathing so heavily. I wasn't. You know, so the the idea was, could you come up with? A horror story in you know, two sentences. But uh, anyway, so one of the things we want to do today is, uh, well, we have, we have questions. Um, because we're not taking ourselves too seriously today. We're not um, taking ourselves seriously at all. Yeah. Let's be let's be literal today. So I'm going to start with right before the camera started rolling. I'm just going to start this off and answer this question. It was. Um, what sport would be the funniest to add a mandatory amount of alcohol to? <laughs> and and the and the problem is, is like I can't take myself seriously when I answer. Wait, wait, wait! I gotta. But here's the thing: I gotta. I I want to put. All right, hold on, hold on. I need to find the question. I want to put the question oh, in there, in the chat. chat. I think that would be. How far it's down like, am I going? Yeah, I clicked on a different link. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, so what's the question? I'll type it in there. What sport would be the funniest to add a mandatory amount of alcohol to? And the answer is fairly obvious. I mean, Little League, any Little League game. <laughs> you know, you give them a little bit of lemonade with a shot of whiskey and you send them out <laughs> to play ball. Uh. And, and, I, and I was laughing because, cause look, I, I love my children. But they're going to puke randomly anyway. <laughs> they are already unsteady on their feet. Like, you couldn't even tell. <laughs> so, you know, it, 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 it's an idea. Um, all right, Deb. Our chat is not working on this side. It's working there. It's not working here. That's I right. have no idea why. So, so I'll ask you the first question. What movie would be greatly improved if it was made into a musical? What and, movie and, and would not, be greatly improved it, if it was made into a musical? Not John Wick. <laughs> <laughs> no, not John Wick. Um, Alien. <laughs> <laughs> the will come out tomorrow. <laughs> terrible, terrible. <laughs> How about for you? <laughs> See, I'm sorry. I'm stuck on this next question. Um, uh, let's see. Musical. Movie with musical. Um, hmm. Come on. That can't be too hard. Well, I'm thinking. I'm just thinking of, like, I mean, the Bourne movies. As a musical? Uh, see, I don't know if it would be better. I just, it would be comical. Star Wars. Oh. Nowadays, Disney ruining all that crap. So, and here's the thing. So, here's one question. If your five-year-old self suddenly found themselves inhabiting your current body, what would your five-year-old self do first? Now, here's the problem with that question. A five-year-old hasn't gone through puberty. Things are different. <laughs> and, like, and you can't really answer that question because everyone understands... 
My five-year-old self would start screaming for help. I can't get up. I'm so heavy. What's weighing me down? What's this stuck to my face? Get it off. Why are, why are my pants so tight? <laughs> you know, like, they get... Okay. I'm going to move on. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh... I like this one that we were talking about before we started. If you could switch two movie characters, what switch would lead to the most inappropriate movies? Hmm. I, like, uh, uh, I like your one of uh, uh, John Wick with Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> Oompa Loompas. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness! Try to hire hire Willy Wonka to uh, to kill people, and he's just like, I got candy. It's all like, poison. <laughs> it's all poison. Uh, let's see what other ones are. I don't know. As far as cartoons go, I don't know. I see. It's it's hard <laughs> because I'm in a place that I look at it and and, it, and you think, let's see, well you could mix could mix a whole lot of because you think of like the children's cartoons and then you think of like the most violent individual from you know you put edward scissors hand edward scissor hands into sleeping beauty you know I, <laughs> you know <laughs> there's just so anyway yeah um moana with dawn of the dead that would be <laughs> moana with sean of uh, let's see. If animals could talk, which would be the rudest? The rudest? The most rude. <laughs> I'm going to correct that there. <laughs> it depends. Did you do anything to the animal before they could talk? <laughs> it'd be horses. Because I it'd, remember. No, no, it'd be cows. It'd be like, we're going to eat you now. <laughs> <laughs> see how you like it. Om nom nom, right on your hand. <laughs> they could be like, "You ate little Timmy." They could be like, "Tastes like chicken." It's not funny, is it? <laughs> Taking your hose and clapping uh, on your... Hey, European. Good to see you. Hey, Craig. Hey, Craig's in Ohio right now. Oh, really? Yeah, he's there for business training. So Fun. he had to miss a whole bunch of flights and oh, uh, layovers and all that, but he's there. He's got this thing with the I am a banana song from YouTube. He keeps bringing that up. Have you seen that? Nope. I'll have to look at it. Oh, my heck. Made me laugh. He put that on there. He put the link on there the other day during his stream, and I looked at it, and the guy started singing that. He's a banana, and I, yeah, I kind of lost it. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, Let's see. What inanimate object would be the most annoying if it played loud, upbeat music while being used? <laughs> the toilet. <laughs> yeah, I think the toilet too. You'd sit down. I'm sorry. It's the if you had the, eye of if, the tiger. No. <laughs> I'm not even thinking about upbeat music. You imagine if you sit down in the toilet. Drop the bass. Boom. The toilet bowl is shaking, splashing water. It's like the subwoofer. <laughs> I'm not even thinking about that. I'm thinking about it. you're tired in the middle of I'm the night. I'm in a teapot. <laughs> no, I'm thinking about you stumbling there in the middle of the night. You're half asleep. You sit down and you hear bottom, <laughs> bottom, plop, bottom. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> remember, uh, oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling like what? What's his name on the uh, Dreyfus on the back of the boat, shoveling things out? And the shark comes up to bite. It's like I don't know. <laughs> Sitting there, so many things. <laughs> Every time you go to drink, drink water. It's blast music. This is terrible. Another place. inanimate object. What else would also be good? Oh my heck! Good or just annoying? Your, to <laughs> your toothbrush. <clears throat> Singing that every time you use a toothbrush, you sing the 
They call me Yuck Mouth because I don't brush because I like my teeth like this. They call me Yuck Mouth because I don't brush. How's about little kids? Got some beef in my teeth. Got some Inanimate chicken object too. Play music. Your pillow. <laughs> It'd be terrible. Every time you lay down, every time you go to lay down, you have to listen to it. <laughs> what would be the upbeat you music? Are my sunshine. <laughs> sure. There would be a lot of fluff in that pillow. <laughs> okay, you go. Question. Can mm. we pop that window open? It's hot. It's hot in here. What are some things that are okay to do occasionally, but definitely not okay to do every day? Things to do occasionally that aren't okay to do every day let me open that window what are things that we can do occasionally that are okay that aren't okay to do every day i'm gonna have to really think about this because i don't want to have one of my answers permanently on youtube (laughs) and there's mine so we'll skip what's the weirdest thing you've seen in someone else's home weirdest thing i've seen in someone else's home i like besides their kids <laughs> uh, so okay it's not really weird but it's uh but it was interesting um my my old boss um when i was framing and when you walked into his home he had, he had this awesome awesome home um you know that he had built himself right mm-hmm. And you walk in, and it's this its this huge opening. He had this massive, just this double-wide door. Okay. And you'd walk in, and it was this this rather large opening that led to, you know, it was like the middle of his house, and it would go to each side. Uh-huh. This massive opening, and then uh, large, triple-wide circular stairs going down to the basement, right? But above those circular stairs, he actually had a... Uh, oval cut into the ceiling so basically it was this oval that would go up and then it would go inside so it's almost like he brought the ceiling down cut an oval put it on there it was the weirdest thing you'd ever seen and he looks at it he goes yeah he goes everyone looks at it and they're like how did you how did you do that a that looks hard b why and it's just this odd this odd thing on his house he goes yeah the guys that came into sheet rocket looked at it and they're like the hell is that (laughs) how do you what (laughs) you know we're gonna charge extra for that (laughs) Anyway, it was just, it was this odd thing. I mean, just for looks? Yeah, just just for kicks. And it was just like, I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain. Basically, he, he brought his, um, you know, he's got the regular level of the ceiling, then probably about a foot below that, it's almost got like another wall that kind of comes out into this cut oval. And then, and you know, and then the ceiling that comes down the rest of the wall is just fine. So it's just this cut oval, oval almost like it looks like it'd be a window. Or even a doorway, but then you know the the ceiling's just behind it. It was really weird, but it stuck out right above the stairway. You walk in, that's the first thing you can see. It was, it was definitely odd. Most people have like a chandelier uh-huh. or some sort of ornament, and right. just this big oval cut into the ceiling, and it was, and it was it was, I don't know, it was thick too. Imagine like, imagine almost like a like I said, almost like a doorway to going into an attic or something like that. Okay, and it was probably about yay thick the opening. So it looked like it was twice as thick as the wall. Some of the walls were, and you know, it huh. was weird. It was just, it was, it was weird. It was and it awesome. had stairs going all the way up to it. No, it didn't. It was, it just, it looked almost as if it was a doorway into something, but it was just completely oval. It was, it was weird. Huh. So I know it's not like an ornament or something like that, but it was definitely weird in somebody's house. I don't know. I, I don't know that I've really seen anything weird in people's houses other than obsessions with animal heads. Uh, but it's funny because I can think of something that would be weird to someone coming into my home that I've actually been talking to retroactive Bex about, which is pretty funny. Hello, Wolfie. Um, and that is, I, you know, you know how one of the goals here in the office that we wanted to have the, the shelving goal all around. And one of my, my hobbies is I like creating artifacts from the Wanted Hero world. Well, there's one of a particular character that I won't name and we won't talk about. But eventually, uh, Chuck ends up with his head. And so, uh, for whatever reason, which I'm not going to get into. Oops, sorry. And I'm not going to get into. I actually found out that uh, Bex, because she makes those lifelike babies. So I asked her, I says, could you make 
take one of those heads of the lifelike babies <laughs> and make a really lifelike, shrunken, perfect adult male head that we could like put on a spike and then like put it in a under a glass, you know, a bell glass. And there's like this pause. Yes. And I was like, oh, good. Okay, I'll send just, you. Just I'll send file you the that specs. away for later. <laughs> Glad to know you can do it. <coughs> Nothing creepy whatsoever. Not at all. Not at all. But I'm I'm actually looking to do that. I think that'll be one of the first things that we create. We get our tax return. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a dead man's head. Yeah, that's what we're gonna go for. Uh, we'll have to find a nice place to put it where it's in full view, so people come in and just have them kind of. <laughs> Welcome to I'm hoping home. a little, <laughs> yeah, a little exactly. speaker. Welcome. <laughs> but you have to be like Siri's voice. Welcome. <laughs> uh, okay, I got a question. I hope you feel at home. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, gosh, some of these aren't really fun questions for the most. Um, what is the most epic way you've seen someone quit? Or be fired. Okay, so I don't uh, I don't have any stories from myself, but of course, since the internet is only truth, as we talked about <laughs> earlier, I, I remember I remember a story of a lady <coughs> won the lottery, so she took a dump on her boss's desk and quit. Found out she read the numbers wrong. <laughs> You know, that's that's one way to... I'm sorry. Oops. <laughs> you know, walking back in like... Um, can I, I clean job? that up for you? Can I, can I have my job back a couple days later? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know, like, I won the lottery. I don't have to be here anymore. <laughs> Boom. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. I can't seem to laugh without coughing today. Uh, at <laughs> okay no i gotta i gotta <laughs> i gotta do the one that we we're talking about before here's the next one for you <laughs> you couldn't be convicted of any one type of crime what criminal charge would you like to be immune to public public nudity like <laughs> you can just walk around like i don't even have to wear pants put some anymore. clothes on like immunity to the law you know, i'll walk in with just just sunglasses <laughs> like screw the police just I couldn't do showing that. my backup I singers to everybody. I couldn't do like, that. Think of all the all the <laughs> all the therapy well, bills for parents. Well, so here's here's the thing about that. On a completely legitimate note, <laughs> We're I'm talking about public nudity. You say <laughs> on a completely legitimate note, what? I don't think there's a lot of crimes, <laughs> or there's none that I can think of just off the off the bat that I'd like to be immune <clears throat> from, simply because. Then you're talking about out loud. Well, they just involve doing things that I don't want to do. Like they're there for a reason. Like that, you know. Maybe speeding. You know. Of one type of crime. Like, how about tax evasion? <laughs> okay, well, I guess there's that one. All right. I would I wouldn't mind that one. Yep, kids, we're going to Disneyland. Why? Because Uncle Sam can punt. <laughs> All right. <coughs> oh, oh, my goodness. What would be the coolest? See, app? look. Throw the volunteer right there. And <laughs> Wolfie, screw the bullies. Okay. <laughs> what would be the coolest animal to scale up to the size of a horse? Obviously a dog. Obviously. But go ahead. Your opinion. <laughs> What's my intent? Why did I want to do that? Is it, is it a because pet that's going to obey me? Is it, is it because it's going to obey me? If it's going to obey me, I have a different answer. If it's something that I'm going to make as big a, as a horse and unleash, just, but I can the, be somewhere else, my answer is different. It, it's just what would be the coolest one, regardless of like being a pet or anything like that. Oh. As big as a horse. Mm -hmm. Like, can we go like... Oh my goodness. I can think of a bunch of them that I'd like. Not wasps. That would be bad. I was I was thinking scarab. 
scare them super bad. Generally, spider? any insect. Any, spider would anything. be huge. That would be cool. No. Yeah. Again, is it is it my friend? <laughs> or if it's something that I'm unleashing, it would be totally different answers. What about like just a hamster? Just like this, this big old hamster. <laughs> It is just this, you know, <coughs> and the thing is, or, 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 or a bunny, and it becomes the a bunny, bunny from Monty Python, like, cause, cause he's, no, no, not that kind of bunny, like, because that's like, worse than a scarab, that'd be like, worse I than a badger, this, it's like, I love this bunny, I can ride this bunny, I'm packing holy hand grenades on each hip sucker, here bunny, chew on this, blow it up, no, not that guy, if it was a, or like the, the bunny from Pets, See, and, and, completely any, mental any those. oh my goodness um let's see spider would be good spider would be hey, you 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 would love it if there was a snake but there are snakes as big as a horse yeah let's not go into that <laughs> no come on in. no no I, I i think yeah i think a hamster or a gerbil or a guinea pig that would just be funny that would be way funny your goldfish Nah, it has to be something that's on land. Your parakeet? Gosh. <laughs> Loud ass. <laughs> crap. That I can say that. Crap. Let's see. What else? Come on, that's a fun question. What would you want as big as a horse? I agree, though. A dog. That would be my first pick. Let's see. Because I just, I just mm. love dogs. That would be... That'd be a crap ton of food, is what that would be. Black puma. Cleaning up after that thing would just <laughs> be the shit. <laughs> Black puma. Um. <coughs> anyway, uh. Next question. Next question. Ah. Uh, what have we got? We need to say hi to everybody. So, so Wolfie says, "So guys, when are you going to start streaming WoW?" So here's the thing about WoW. WoW used to be awesome. And we used to play together a lot. When my dad was working in another company, I was I was a uh, I was uh, just barely a teenager at that point, um, and uh, and he actually would play with some of his business partners. We'd all play um, back in Vanilla, Burning Crusade. Um, even Wrath of Lich King was really good. The problem is the game sucks now, and it's hard to have fun in a game that you need to pour hundreds of hours into to be on top and 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 so so here's my issue with games i have this problem with almost and and she's asking because she wants us to go join her which means we'd also have to join a a european server can we even do that yeah okay so we join a european server and then we'd have to rebuild or we'd have to pay money no i don't like giving them more money um to transfer over an ice beard could you imagine ice beard being stuck in the netherlands he belongs in the Netherlands, but so here's the thing. I used to have a lot of fun. We had I had some buddies that we um <coughs> back before. I'm just certainly go to doesn't World belong Warcraft. in L.A. So, so anyone sure. that doesn't know things about World Warcraft, you're gonna have to suffer the, through this for a moment. So um, <laughs> Thunder Bluff. Um, back before there were diminishing returns on a lot of on a lot of crowd control effects. You could chain crowd control effects from different classes and keep someone permanently CC'd. So what we go is we go to the starting area for the Tarin, and we would slowly drag, push, compel a low-level character into the water, and then we permanently CC them until they drowned, their character drowned. And so here's the thing with with CCing someone like that. The reason it was popular, or the reason it was we enjoyed doing that, is because one. You can't log out besides just like Alt F4. You can't log out if you're in combat. So technically, if you're being CC'd, you're in combat. And then they just had to sit there and watch that character slowly drown. It took like four minutes. Four minutes of you not being able to do anything. And it was it was pretty funny. The other thing that they did, uh, uh, um, some, some of these guys, I was good friends with them. I was dating their sister at the time. <laughs> yeah, another story. Um, they... Uh, they had this guy, like, his name was, like, Want Some Candy or something like that. And he'd walk around in some of the areas in, like, Ogremar, and he'd be like, hey, you want some candy? There's some in this alley over here where we'd have a bunch of us max-level rogues 
and he just he'd bring in and and the goal was like kill him before they could type anything to move to a different alley, move to a different spot, and then uh-huh. you know whatever. And we did a lot of stuff, that, but but overall, the the big problem with playing any of those games is that I'm not. I'm not able to play them just to have fun. When I start playing a game, I get super It's competitive. I have to I have to be at the top of whatever I'm doing. When I stopped playing World of Warcraft, I was in the top two percent of PvB players in of, of the population. Remember I, I mentioned that, Wolfie. I mentioned that. He's he's that good of a player. I just I And I, I and to... I and I play a support. I I'm I'm not great solo, though I have played most of the time solo to get to that point. Um, but I'm an, I'm an extreme support player, so. Yeah, see, I, I, I had to be, I had to be at the top. <laughs> and then when you and I would team, and you'd say, "All right, Dad, let's go play. Yeah. I'll keep you alive. Take everybody out. We might not win, but let's make sure that everyone else on the other side loses." <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny when you've got ten to twenty characters that are coming after you, and their only focus during PvP is to kill the dwarf. <laughs> It was Kill the hunter. It was so We'd have these games max level <laughs> back before Legion changed all the the way the armor works in battlegrounds. And we could walk into a to a regular battleground, and I was so geared, and I knew exactly what I was doing so well. You know, we go we go battlegrounds. There'd be four of us, five of us queuing together, so we're half of Warsong Gulch with no deaths. Yep. Ever. Yep. You know, we could just walk through. We would, you know, it would turn in. We had the add on battleground targets, so you could see who was on the other team. And everyone, as we were getting ready before the game, you know, when the countdown starts, yeah, it'd be like, okay, everyone pick somebody on the other team. Your job is to kill that person as much as possible. And whoever's target has the most deaths at the end of the game wins, you know? And then they would spread <laughs> out, and i just bounce between them, keep everyone alive. And he was just walking over, and it was and it, it was enjoyable. I had a lot of fun. Our guild, we were just, you know, it was a lot of fun. But the problem is, is like, the time investment to get to that point was... There, there was a lot, and and I can't play a game <laughs> that takes that much. Sorry, she said I watch you guys drown horde people. That's, me that's and we, me and Wolfie we argue. We argue like Cage is like for the horde, and and Cyber's for the horde. And I said, well, Cyber, Cage I said, and Cyber can go I, kiss a Torin. Uh, like, I, I, <laughs> I said, is it would really be. It would just it hurt my feelings. I said, "Why?" He says, "Because I'd you know, have I'd have play. I'd have to put a dozen arrows through your eye sockets, and it just you know." And then, and then, when, and then they said that they're torn, and I went, "Oh, I just I feel so bad." I says, "But I'm sure you taste good." They're like, "That's cannibalism." No, it's not. You're a cow. You're a walking burger that can talk. <laughs> See, I have this whole like alliance pride thing going on for a while. Like, yeah, Wolfie's I, I, with you, us, you, Mother Wolf. You say you can watch me kill alliance. If you know, a couple years ago, I would have been like, "I will end you! I will end you for that." Now I'm just like, whatever. I can't. I mean, it, it gets me a little bit. I'm out of uh, lemonade. <coughs> oh my but, goodness. Uh, anyway, so Mister Wurf. So basically, Evan was a troll in WoW. I'm a troll in real life. I mean, besides the facial features, the defining features, you know, um, I'm in trouble in everything that I do. <laughs> like everything, I can't, I can't stop it. It's a disease. It's like, it's like being an alcoholic. And the thing is, is like they say, admitting it is 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 the first step, and it's the hardest thing. And I've done the hardest. I don't have to do anything else. I, I did the hard part. I admitted that I have a problem. I don't have to do anything else now. <laughs> Uh, Mother Wolf, please. So, so, so you're not, so you're not a Taran, but you're still Horde. Like they're still bad, and I don't mean bad. Like they're evil. I mean they're just bad. Like they're just cancerous. You know, I mean, it's just like I play Horde. I like to spread cancer in the online world. I like to participate. I, you know, my still, I have never ever played any game ever that I had more fun than playing Disease on EverQuest. Ever, it was playing. It was playing an Ixar necromancer. I always play good guys. I always play good guys. And for once, I just said, you know what? I want to be a necromancer, a bad, a bad class. I'm a religious guy, a bad class. And to top it all off, I'm gonna go with the worst factioned race at that time. I think they really were the worst faction race of all time in EverQuest. 
So I was going to go solo, play a necromancer, play an Ixar. I, I was going to be alone out there in the world. And then I was going to get powerful enough to go back to my own city and kill my own race. And that's exactly what I did. But the other thing was, is I ended up uh, becoming famous on my server because I would, I'd come home upset from work and uh, my wife's like, are, are you okay, sweetheart? I says, yeah, I'll be fine. I'm going to go downstairs and kill some 12 year olds. So I would go and I would log on and I would, I, I'd wait for bullies. I knew what zones these kids, what did we call them? The kids that, that bought accounts or parents bought accounts for them. Do you remember what they were called? Cause I can't remember. I don't remember the phrase. Anyway, it was a really, yeah, it was an obnoxious phrase cause we couldn't stand them. But these kids that their parents would pay six, $800 or more for an EverQuest account that someone would do so many, you know, uh, characters and races and they, they, they max everything out bunch of platinum and then they would just sell i had a friend uh levi allred who he actually paid for college playing everquest he'd do it every summer and before college started he would sell his accounts have enough money for school and go to college that's the kind of stuff that he would do me i would show up and i'd go to certain zones where these snot-nosed kids and they were they were always kids there was these punk, these punk little kids and they would pick on other kids who are trying really hard, like me and my son, that we start and we earn our way through everything. And what I loved about EverQuest is unlike WoW, where you know you go and you kill something, and if you don't kill it and you die, it goes back to its spawn point. Whereas in EverQuest, what was great is you would go, let's say, like a giant, any kind of giant. You go, actually, any anything, period. If it's a higher level than you, and it kills you, it doesn't go back to a spawn point. It will eventually, but what it first does is it's almost like it wakes up, it looks around and says, Who else? where's the closest meat? And it takes them out. So what I would do is with the necromancer, it had the necromancer and the monk had an ability called feign death. I was a, Mine was a spell and a monk's is a skill ability. And so what I would do is, when I found that there were kids that were picking on other kids, I would yell out in the zone and say, diseased on his way. And after a while, you'd hear people shouting, oh, crap, run for the zone. Because what I would do is I would run around and I would throw diseases, dots, on all the biggest creatures. And I would run. I would run as fast as I could. And I would run right up to the kids that are picking on them. Picking on other kids, they usually they'll kill someone and then st camp their body and just kill them over and over and over and over and just ruin the experience. So I would bring all these giants or evil things and run right up to them and feign death right in their lap. Because as soon as you feign death, it wipes the aggro clean. I don't exist. I'm wallpaper. And I would do that over and over and over until they would log off. And then I'd tell the kids, hey, it's safe to come back. And that's all, me. All the fun stuff to you. On, yeah. On a, I would say on an ending note for, for World of Warcraft, I think the, the biggest thing for me is when they, they change the game too much. Yeah. And, and, here's, and here's, here's what I mean by that. I think as it is right now, World of Warcraft is a playable, enjoyable game for those that are getting into it. For those that played in Classic and Burning Crusade and even some of Wrath of Lich King, it's a completely different game and I don't enjoy it anymore. Um, I miss the old talent trees. I miss class diversity. They change the talent trees. Yeah, they don't exist anymore. Um, they they change those. They change those years and years ago. They had this new. You know, they've gone through a few different new systems. You know, I I miss when stats mattered. Um, not every end game thing had stats. I for a brief little while I liked the idea of the uh, oh what are they called the weapons you get now in Legion, basically. Once you get your endgame weapon, you'll never go from it. Every class has one weapon, so weapons don't drop endgame anymore. You know, and that's no fun. And so, and so the thing is, is that it uh, it changed a lot of it, and and that's what got to me because early on, there were things like agility warriors. Like that's what I played. I played a fury warrior back when you played. Agility, I remember that. You know, and 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 all sorts of stuff like that when they. Um, you know, different weapons, you'd have these max level weapons, but but two or three stat differences could mean the world, you know. Yeah. Um, blacksmithing had 
had specific armor smithing and weapon smithing and you could specialize and do some of this other stuff and that stuff made a difference and made an impact on the game engineering had an impact on the game because your gadgets were purposeful they did extra things and and the thing the, the problem with that is that that's not good for a competitive environment mm-hmm. it's 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 like it's like league of legends i enjoyed league of legends up until a few years just a few years ago because i was i was playing um just after just after beta with league of legends i was playing just after the game released and there were so many things you could do to have fun but they would ruin the competitive element and because they wanted to make a game that was competitive because they like the competitive scene the professional teams the things like that which is good for them and if that's where they want to go then that's awesome but it ruins the fun of the game for me because mm-hmm. now it's not just about having fun. It's about how competitive and if we're not winning, we're not enjoying ourselves. Um, they haven't met uncle Bob and I, and I'm kind of in between uncle Bob and you uncle Bob is the kind of uh, player. Uh, he's uh, he is one of our favorite all time relatives. Um, military man career military now that he's retired he plays wow but he he's filled up he's got every character every race every class and he likes going through the storyline he likes uh completing all the quests he just enjoys doing that he's not in a rush he's not any of that and he's a single player game he's a person. single player type game and, and though it's it's a lot of fun to team with him it is if you're doing the chilled thing uncle bob's the guy to hang yeah. with um, but I'm kind of in between. I have days like that, but most of the time, I was really having a hard time trying to keep up with you. And you know, I can be gone. Of course, I had a life. I had a you job. You had a job. I was a kid. I had everything, like, and I'm thinking, what the? I'm gone two days, and you're you're level what? You know, it's just whatever. Well, it's kind of like, I don't but, know. But 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 here but here's where you need to explain the reason why. Actually, the main reason why you and I wouldn't play wow or something like wow right now like when we were talking outside the other day is because we'd rather spend our time doing something yeah. else well and that i was gonna say and that's a big thing is like it's just such a time investment you know the the problem that i have is i can't i can't log in and play then take a month of break then come back and have it be in the same spot and we'd rather make stuff that that's a lot of yeah. it you know and the thing is is like you know you, you kind of have this urge to to get to work, to get something done, to do something. The other thing too is, is that's why you make games. Then you have to test it. (laughs) Well, and that's as I'm coming into being a parent, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot harder for me to play a game where I can't pause. You're not coming into being, you are a parent. You you realize that there's two children that look like you in the other room. You know that, right? Okay. I mean, as I, as I, as I come to understand the responsibilities of some of those, like there you go, you know, between my wife being sick and having my children, you know, I, if I can't pause a game, you know, and there are times where I'll be like, you know, I think they're okay. I'm not going to worry about it. You know, she can pick herself up. Are, are the you floor. saying, are you saying if, if there's a it, it, games where if for one moment you're questioning whether or not you're going to lose your place or deal with something that actually matters, that's the wrong kind of game. Exactly. That's, so it's kind I'm of like, totally with you. Like that's a, my, it's kind of like I talk to people about, it's like, um, you know, um, getting drunk. I can't be drunk as a parent. I have to be able to be a parent at any at yep. the drop of a, at the drop of a hat. Yep. Um, there's rarely, if ever, a time that I can cut out and say that I have to be unavailable to my children and my wife. And and so, you know, so for me, so when I so take World of Warcraft, you know, I w- if I if I was playing, I'd go heavy into PvP again. I would just go, I'd go straight for it. But because you I can leave, do that, because you can do these things and then bail out. Well, but well, two, two minutes, minute, two minute 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 you're right. You're right. It's definitely better than raiding. But the problem is, is then I spend, if I'm in the middle of an arena or I'm in the middle of the battleground and my, my family needs me, like, I got to be able to leave. <laughs> That's why I have no problem with Diablo 3. We're smashing stuff. I'm a demon hunter that just thrashes everything. And then your mom's like, could you help me with this? Sure. I just get up and walk away. And I come back and people are like, what the crap happened to you? Oh, well, I had to do this. Well, and that's why I've, 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 I dabble <laughs> a little bit still every once in a while in EverQuest because EverQuest is a very extremely slow-paced game. And there's so much waiting involved in that game. And you can get up and you can walk away from it. 
Yeah, but we do, don't we do, we do Project, what yeah. is it, 1999 now. Yeah. And that, um, yeah, we and, control And, and I, that. I still haven't played that in, in a while. But but I think the big thing is that it's difficult to find find games where you can do that. You know, I, I like playing a few games on the Xbox because I feel less uh, connected playing an Xbox. I, uh-huh. When I play on the PC, I feel like I'm in this serious mode. When I play on the Xbox, I don't have a problem leaving a game. <laughs> you know, and I play Overwatch, but I mostly play with my sister, um, who likes to who likes to play and, and still haven't stuff. taught me how to play that. And I and I, you know, my wife likes to play Ark. I can't play the actual live servers on Ark because if you don't log in for two days, all your creatures starve to death because the game continues while you're not playing. Uh, you know, and and it's just kind of like that time investment is difficult. I can't get past just wearing underwear. I die from all the little oh, yeah. creatures yeah, that just out. eat me. Starting out, it's I can't do it. The, the I learning bought it curve, on my the, the learning curve on that game is pretty steep. So. Yeah, it's that. It's yeah. Anyway, yeah. so so that's the thing with the games. I think. Um, yeah, she said. Uh, so, any plans to play again when Classic comes out? Okay, so so what do you mean Classic so comes they're, out? They're so they're doing it. They're doing progression locked servers, meaning they're opening it up the original game. Okay. Just levels one to sixty with the old world, the old everything, and doing time locked, kind of like how nineteen ninety nine does that. Uh-huh. And they're going to go through all the expansions on an original timeline. So it's like starting World of Warcraft over. So specific servers are starting the game over. I, uh, here, here's the trouble with that. I don't want to have to go through that crap all over well, that's, again. So that's the thing. That's not crap for a lot of us. Oy. Because because the thing what World that's of Warcraft. That's why I did, liked Project nineteen ninety nine. Well, what. What World of Warcraft did is they made it all about the end game. And in the original ones, you remember teaming up and leveling and doing that. Some stuff. Sure. You don't do any of that in World of Warcraft now. You re- key random dungeons, you get yourself to 70, and then you either raid or PvP. And it's all about being 70. So the point of it, so what EverQuest did and what, what they're trying to mimic with classic servers, mm-hmm. even EverQuest is mimicking Project 90, 1999, and they have time locked servers now. Is they're trying to recreate the experience of just enjoying the game, hmm. enjoy playing the game, enjoy some of the questing, enjoy some of the old uh, aspects, enjoy some of the things that aren't available anymore. Well, I'm hoping everyone you know? has fun. And I, there's a nostalgia thing. I'm one of those people that I spent that time, I spent that money, and that time doing that. I have absolutely no interest in doing that again. That would not be enjoyable to me. That's kind of why I liked 1999. It's like, okay, well, I can go to the end, and I want to go a little bit further than what I went before because that's new. But I'm not doing this crap. I'm just, I'm not yeah. doing this. That's not. I'm not interested in that. It's just like, that's one of the reasons why I don't get overly uh, interested in uh, the seasons of D3 because you know until someone says, hey. You know, we're we're at seventy here. Let me boost you. Okay, that's fine. Otherwise, I'm just gonna play my regular character and just have fun every once in a while. Well, the thing, the thing, I don't know. It's just it's just finding the right game. It and, is. And the thing is, is that I think games are enjoyable when you're playing them with people you enjoy playing with. Yes. I think I think, th- and that has less to do with the game as it does the individuals you're playing with. I would still play World of Warcraft if I was playing with my dad. Or I was playing with some of these people that I enjoyed. I'd team up with Wolfie. You I'd, know, I do that. I. I mean, I, we'd make we, her go alliance. We, yeah, that's either that thing. or we would just, you know, hunt and kill you over and over. That would be fun too. You know, I think. You know, I think the big thing for me. So, let me explain my love when it, when I was younger of, of World of Warcraft. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll put it right here. So I've got I've got a scar. I don't know you can't quite see it right here. So, a dry ice bomb. <laughs> put a bunch of dry ice, a little bit of water, shake it up till the cap explodes. <clears throat> Out of water bottles, decided to use a pop can. The problem with the pop can is they're thicker. And so the lid blows off instead of the bottle exploding and the lid holding it together. So the lid pops off, buries itself in my hand. Yada, yada, yada. I get a hematoma. I'm bleeding. Um, my <laughs> I feel myself starting to black out as I'm in the kitchen. My mom's trying to hold my hand above my head. I'm bleeding. Her and my dad are trying to figure out. They're like, okay, well, let's get the glue. Let's get it taken care of. Let's, we, don't, we don't think we need to take him in right now. And I hear my Uncle Bob... And my aunt Kelly fighting over who got to stitch me. And she says, I'm a registered nurse. I've been trained for this. And he says, I was in Vietnam. I know how to stitch any wound there is. I could stitch someone after they stepped on a landmine. I'll stitch him. And while they're arguing, 
my mom's my, my dad's holding it closed. He's cleaned it, and my mom glues it closed. We're good to go. We're done. Yeah. You know, and um, <laughs> I had a raid that night, <laughs> and I had to keep it above. So because I had a hematoma, so I had bruised all down my all down my forearm was just filled with blood. It was swollen. My hand was just the whole bit. It was wrapped up, and I only had access to these fingers. And I thought I could still play with just these fingers. As long as I put my mouse on top of the tower. <laughs> oh see? crap! I remember. So that. what I did is I was crying to my mother. <laughs> I, I was like, I was like fourteen that. when she's like, "You can't play. Like, you need to go." Mom, you know, I've got to. Like, They're I've depending got to. on me. You know, this is this is the burning crusade, mom. <laughs> and and I'm the tank. I just hit level seventy. I'm going to Karazhan, and. <laughs> and so I put the mouse up on top of the tower. I put the tower up onto the desk and this, and then I tried to play like this so that I could play, you know, and, and I, I, <laughs> it was terrible. I loved that game. Um, but, uh, but that was kind of the degree, like, you know, <laughs> but the thing is, is like, I miss, I'll play any game if, if we're doing land parties, you know, um, I remember popping open a garage door everyone bringing over their computers, everyone hooking up to a hub. It doesn't matter what game you play when everyone's playing together. You know? Uh, Warcraft 3 was the best for that. Um, and it was just fantastic with all the different games and mods. Um, League of Legends was still enjoyable. World of Warcraft was still enjoyable. Hello, Willow. <laughs> Thanks for the raid, Willow. <laughs> We're taught... Oh, see, but now... I, I, I love you, Willow. Uh, you, but you brought Cyber. And we we were we were just talking about how we were gonna just put the pain on Cyber. Sorry, Cyber. We love you, buddy. We really do. Are we sorry though? No, we're not. We're not. It's 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 yeah. Anyway. Um. Anyway, so mother. This Wolf. is a this is a for the alliance talk show. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> so so mother wolf and. Well, basically, you're both you're both casual. See, I can't enjoy World of Warcraft as a casual game. I can't either because oh my I feel goodness. like there's so much to get done, and I have to be at the top. I just I can't just I can't just not be that way. It's and it's see, it's and a it's, flaw on my part. It, like I it, can't. It, yeah, but think, well, okay. There's the flaw in your part of doing that. What's the flaw in me in that? I don't need to be at the top, but I need to shoot everybody in the back of the calves that are trying to stop my son getting to the top. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I trip and fall and shoot you 32 times in the spine? Like, I'm sorry. It's like, it's like, so I started playing Ark <laughs> and for like three weeks I was playing Ark. Like it was when my wife first got sick. I had just, I had just taken it. They give me, you could say that all you want mother wolf, but you're still going to be a rug. They had, <laughs> and cyber. <laughs> So my wife had just my wife had just gotten sick. We had a newborn baby, and I I was given three weeks <coughs> three weeks off work. Um. And so my wife she couldn't move, she couldn't function, she couldn't move her arms, and and um, and and she couldn't you know uh, she couldn't well move almost at all. So she'd sit on the couch. You know we'd move her to the couch. She'd sit there all day. Then we'd move her to the bed at the end of the day. And. Um, and then I had a new baby, and so I was taking time off work so I could take care of him. And in between you know, holding my new baby, who was sleeping most of the time, um, I uh, I started playing Ark because my 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 brother very kindly gave me an Xbox and a TV because I didn't have either, <laughs> and um, and he had already bought some games on it. So I was like, okay, I'll play Ark. Um, and I I joined a PvP server. I'm new at this game. I'm getting annihilated by all these guys, but it's a live game. And like other adults, they have lives. So they have to go to work. And I think, well, if they're going to be at work. I'm not going to sleep because I will take my revenge out on them and I will go through and I will, you know, and I systematically emptied the server. People wouldn't play with me anymore. Um, and, and cause that was the, that competitive, I have to be on top. If I'm not on top, I don't know. And it's weird. And it's, it's just with some of these games. I, I have I have a couple things like that, you know, in the workplace where I felt like I was always competing. But um, but that's why I have a hard time with games like that. Now, I see Cyber for the Horde. You know what? I You're so lucky this is a family-friendly stream because I've got, like, I've got a bird with your name on it. 
He's like flittering around here. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's uh, that's okay. Anyway. That's one of the reasons why I really like PvP because we've got. Here's the thing. I've got my. I've got one of my little brothers. Jordan, who I love dearly, and he's so much fun to play video games with, but he always plays Horde, always, and we don't play on the same server. We can't play on the same server because as a matter of duty and honor, I always hunted him down and killed him. I would go out of my way to go find him. We would do raid parties to find my brother and shoot him. And then he had the mistake of getting Kylie, his wife, to play. And then we had to hunt her down, too. It's horrible. Do you know how much that hurts my heart to have to shoot a family member in the face repeatedly with a powerful bow? It's just it's it almost strong. Felt, it, it, it almost felt bad enough to overcome the joy of killing a horde, but not quite. Yeah. I, so I enjoyed it. So I, I enjoyed that. I think, I think the one thing World of Warcraft had going for it, though. What's that? Their, their, the role of dedicated healers was better in World of Warcraft than it was in any game I've ever played. I would so, know. I never play healers. So, so I, I leveled I up a warrior you. first because I started playing warrior in Classic through Classic and Wrath of Lich King. And and the majority of, let's see, the Classic, Burning Crusade, Wrath of Lich King, for the majority of those, I played warrior. At the mid to end of Wrath of Lich King, up until I quit, I played exclusively healers. I my paladin I maxed out I was the best I, I played paladin better than I did anything else played a resto shaman I played a resto druid and I played a disc and I played a holy priest um, PvP just exclusively or, or maybe not exclusively but mostly PvP um, we had actually we had a guild it was called War Dogs um, it was fantastic I actually it was some of the best individuals. And I think if there's one thing that I miss, I miss the community from that game. I miss the community more. I became real life friends with most of them, and yeah. um, and I still talk here and here and every once in a while with them. But uh, oh, we've got. I don't know what I don't know what is going on with Twitch, but it seems like everything is busted. I can't do two chats here, and I cannot. I just cannot get this to work. I don't know why. I cannot get the chat to work. I don't know. So anyway, back to the questions. Okay, so here's a here's a question right here that I wanted to ask you. Okay. This is the one that I wanted. In the past, people were buried with the items they would need in the afterlife. What would you want buried with you so you could use it in the afterlife? <laughs> I feel like if I asked that question just on the internet, the resounding answer would be like a bong. <laughs> I'm trying to be creative. Things like, I'm thinking sushi knives. Because <laughs> if it's in the afterlife and things don't die, if I, can just, have, sharp if I can just have one pet fish, to flay, it would last heal, me forever. Flay, heal. It would be forever. Oh, no, wait. But if we want a burger, we'll just bring Mother Wolf's Torrin. <laughs> it, you know, what do I want buried with me? I want I want the thing that killed me to be buried with me. That's what I want. <laughs> My Torrin diet is Alliance. Uh, you're a very, very sick cow then. Because don't you just eat grass? Hay. Oh, wait. I guess like corn. Yeah. Vegetarian. I don't know of any meat eating. She might. See, we, she might we, eat our we, armor. We know, we know just based off of that. We know that the the, the tarn are at the bottom of the totem pole. And I use totem pole because they're all shamanistic and what. <laughs> they're like the Californians of uh, of, uh, of World, of War, World of Warcraft. They're like the the filthy vegans <laughs> of <laughs> the World of Warcraft world. <laughs> Okay, and if that if that doesn't just <coughs> speak for itself, then I don't know what else will. Isn't this just like you know, save the environment, eat a torrent? <laughs> You'd think. <laughs> what a powerful bow! Bow! What? Okay, I got to see this. 
Let's see. What is this? Uh, uh, Wolfie says, I need to be buried with all my plushies so I can cuddle even in death. Uh, that's that's understandable. Not a fan of cuddling. Wait, uh, I want I, I want I want to hear this here. Let's let's let's, <laughs> let's see. A back scratcher would be nice. Foot, back, one back of those scratcher. like one of those like foot massager. No, my lazy boy. I want my lazy boy and like I want you to bury me in my lazy boy. I want you to like right but like lower the chair down, lower the body onto it, knock up the the <coughs> foot rest, and freaking just start shoveling dirt on me. Like, cause if I'm gonna relax in the afterlife. Well, if you're gonna re- if you're gonna relax, then don't you like. For me, I mean, if I'm going to relax, then don't I want to bring my kids with me? <laughs> ah, would you but get this is, for me? <laughs> would we, you already get found, for me? We, we already found that the Vikings. <coughs> That's where I was going with that. That keeping your family with you when they burn your body isn't mm, probably isn't the best. Idea. Not the most popular. You can die thing peaceful in your sleep, but everyone else has to burn. Ah, uh, so yeah. I would I would feel bad. Let's see what this says. Thank you for capturing that moment. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Another wolf. I don't want to bury with my family's photos. I wouldn't ever want to forget or be without them. Well, you could just haunt the crap out of them, though. That's what I intend to do. If my kids don't listen to me, I'm going to be here forever. See, so... So, <laughs> so, so you guys are going to wonder that little creepy, that little creak, that little whatever, and you're going to wonder that since nobody dusts, I'll just leave little writings. It was me. <laughs> okay, Dad, here's the question for you. Moving on. <laughs> if all the states in the USA were represented by food, what would each what food would each state be represented by? I don't know, jello for Utah. Ugh. I know it's terrible. Jello, but... jello with carrots. What? I I that's I the weirdest know. thing I that I saw I on a regular basis. I don't know. Oi. Uh, I think it's a Mormon see. thing. I don't know. California would just be something gluten free. No, that would be sushi. California would be sushi. Which is gluten free. That's how I. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, let's see. Well, what other states? Let's see. If you're gonna go, Texas no- would be a barbecue of some sort. The whole uh, southern, uh, every southern state well, would just be a different portion of an animal. Well, well, but the, well, but then you've got, but then you've got different areas like um, te- Texas. It would be some kind of barbecue. It'd be uh, pork ribs. or beef. Yeah, there you go, barbecued ribs. But at the same time, what would you do? Idaho potatoes. There, there you go. go. Perfect. Hawaii pineapples. Exactly. Perfect. Mother world. Montana roadkill. <laughs> Kansas is corn. Uh, Louisiana's uh, Louisiana uh, would be a single malt liquor. No, like, it wouldn't. Louisiana would be uh, would be crawdads. Okay. Yeah, I guess or uh, uh, jambalaya. Kansas is where all the corn is. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Well, what would be Nevada? See, Nevada is a. It's a. It's a uh, well. Nevada would be a buffet line. <laughs> Depending on how much money you Vegas lost is, is where you're going to go for the buffet. Yep. Um, let's see. What what else we got? Oregon. What would be Oregon? You've been there more than I have. Okay. So, Oregon. So, so see, so see if we about, could have our proper place, here's the thing I would move Oregon. to Oregon. I, I, I would too. I love I love Oregon. So, so, so I, you, you I, talk's home to me. What I don't understand is why you love Oregon so much. And you have a hard time when the sun's not out. And Oregon is usually have, raining. So it's not that I have a hard time with when the sun's not out. I have a hard time when the sun is out during winter months. I have a hard time with the sun being out during winter months. Okay. I so, don't get that. So, but all right. Okay. So it's whatever. Oh, well, Doesn't matter. I'll, I'll I'm just I, I'm just glad that so, you like Oregon. So the thing with Oregon <laughs> is I love Oregon and I love the majority of the people outside of Portland. The thing that I don't like, I don't like that Portland is like hipster city too, you know, right behind Seattle. And so like all the dudes with the beards and the, yeah, it's, whatever. it's, and it's like, okay. it's, you know, it's more Georgia, like, peaches. Georgia peaches and they have fruit. Yeah. Let's see. Some of the prettiest girls I've ever seen were there. Chicago. Chicago would be pizza. 
Really not? Yeah. So what would New York be? The hot dog? Yeah. I, I except know, I for they were be except for there. the best hot dog I ever had in my life, bar none, was in L.A. Yeah? Yeah. I like the L.A. style ones that you can get at some of the eateries around here. But I, I would only – I don't ever want to go to New York. But I would go to New York, and I've been to New York I would New go York to New York, York over anywhere in California. I freaking hate California. I, yeah. Well, you got to have – it depends on your experiences. It, it does. So uh, – and, and yeah, I mean, I was born and grew up in California, and I – most places there, I just I don't want to bother anymore. It's just, yeah. I don't like Wisconsin I don't, cheese. I don't like we would that, agree with that, that too. Smell of. Uh... Boy, you're really on it, Mother Wolf. That's yeah, I agree. I still want to try Chicago deep dish. Yeah. Okay, there, Chicago, Chicago deep dish is amazing. Yeah, There's, it's it's just yeah. amazing. We actually there have lots of people to say it's not it's not pizza. It no, is pizza. It really and is. It's the best pizza. It is. So there. And, and here, um. Oh, you know what? I forgot about bagels. But here's the thing. New York here. Okay, if you're talking about bagels, now here's the thing, Mother Wolf, is like what what kind of bagels and what goes in them? Here's why. Because my favorite kind of bagels are with um, uh, lox and I love uh, capers and cream cheese and... Um, and, and, on and, and onions. No, and onions. Anyway, I like like the Jewish bagels. But here's the thing. I would not see my mouth is watering now. My mouth I, I could not decide between Chicago and New York if I was taking them from Jewish neighborhoods. So my dad grew up in a da- Jewish neighborhood in Chicago. So anyway, I just when my dad would do um, lox and bagels, it's oh, it's just the best. I still do. I try to do a version of that, which is so not even close, but it's the best I can get in Utah. So we'll do lox. I'll get the the thinly sliced, you know, the salmon, and go from there. Anyway, See, but it's love like it. You bought a cookbook just for for that. <clears throat> my wife and me, we go through these phases where we eat like where we're really enjoying a food. So for like two weeks, we have it like four times. Okay, I have a question for you. If I pay for it, I'm so hungry now from this talk. I hate this talk now. If I, if we buy the steak, will you cook those, those steaks for me tonight? If I, if I pay for it. Possibly. I want to, I want to, now I just want to. I want to, I want, I want, I want that. Oh, yeah. there's, there's so much. Uh, so let's I, move off of food for the moment. Um, Let's yeah, see. well, I am, at, I am hungry now. I, I am too, but let's not go I there. I could eat a Torin. <laughs> yeah, I could. I could eat a Torin. <laughs> oh, crap. I'm so funny. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. What would be the worst buy one, get one free sale of all time? <laughs> the worst buy one. <laughs> Cushions for hemorrhoids. I was thinking more like, you know, get shot once, we'll shoot you again for free. Like, I... <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, I don't want to hear about. Pra- I I got a question for practical jokes. I don't want that. Um, let's see, what food? Oh. What food have you... See, we're going back to food. What food have you never eaten but would really like to try? I Hold on. I'm going to copy this one in. I would actually like to hear this from everybody in the... Because I... That I haven't had that I really want to try. I don't know if... I don't know if it's that I haven't had some as much as like... I, I would like more authentic versions of maybe some of the stuff I've tried. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything out there that I haven't tried that comes to mind i mean obviously you'll see a dish and you'll be like oh i really want that you know it's like i've had ribs before but i'd love to go down to some of the food trucks in texas and get some of the ribs you know what i mean um if we can get up to uh i've had tacos before but if we can get up to new england i have free food for life all of a sudden there's a taco truck like down the street from where we are those tacos are great have you had them they're fantastic wow mom and i've been wanting to try that actually you know he's been switching his Spot. He went from Payson and now he's out in Santa Quin. Quin. Yeah, and I don't know why. He's in the lot of. He why is he in in a truck lot? I have okay. no idea. All I right. generally speaking, I'm going to say this. I much prefer food from a truck than I do most restaurants. 
And here's buy one death, get one free. What? <laughs> it's like get one SD, STD, and it comes with a minor one attached. You know, you got chlamydia and herpes. You know, like, just, they're just bad. <coughs> oh, that's horrible. You know, that's horrible. Oh my goodness. Oh, what food is delicious but is a pain to eat? Anything hot or cold? Anything like hot or cold? Uh, for me, I was going to say. Okay, I got something. I got something. Okay. I love hot sauce. I love hot sauce to the point that it's... I've, I've turned my stomach acids acidic. I'm on like medication for it. I have scar tissue building up in my esophagus. It's terrible. But I have this ghost pepper hot sauce. I bought like a week and a half ago. I'm half the bottle down. <laughs> it's the most painful thing to eat. And I put it on everything. I just, I put it on, here's the thing. I put it on my food and my food's like, I put it on like hot rice, right? I've fried up some rice, some eggs, some, you, know, you got it all. I put it on the rice. The steam coming up from the rice, after it hits the hot sauce and comes up, burns your eyes. You can't be above your bowl. You can't look <laughs> down at your bowl. You start crying. So I have to like put it to the side and then shovel it into my into my gullet. That's it. I want fried rice now. I want kimchi rice now. Right? And you put some Let's go do that. After so, we're done with here, we will so bail. Good. Let's go get it. I'll make it for us. It hurts. About eight hours later, the worst. So it's it's a pain to eat. I would highly recommend it to everyone. Um, it's called Mad Dog Three Fifty Seven. I first saw it on it was a it's a Hot Wings channel on YouTube. Uh, first we feast. Uh, they do hot wings with different levels of hot sauces, and it's not the top one, but it's in the, like it's in like the top five or the top three. It's called Mad Dog Three Fifty Seven. It's a ghost pepper hot sauce. I don't think it's as hot as they make it out to be, but it's really good. The big thing I say with you get to a certain point with hot sauces, yeah. That as long as it doesn't touch your lips, you're okay. Your <laughs> lips burn easier than the inside of your mouth. Like, like my favorite hot sauce up until this ghost pepper one was this habanero hot sauce, yeah. which didn't burn my mouth, but if I got on my lips, it hurts terribly. So, well, I'm question. I have a question for you, Mother Wolf. So, uh, you're the same way about hot hot sauce, but you're in Hawaii, correct? Hawaii. Uh, are you a, one of the spam people? Are you a spam person? I'm curious about that. Drinking hot sauce and soy sauce pure is terrible, Mr. Worst. I don't, yeah. know, I don't know anyone that does that. But here's the thing. I would rather drink pure hot sauce than have ketchup anywhere around oh, my food. Uh, yeah, I'm going to so, agree with you. Okay. So, yes, you're in Hawaii. No, you're no, not a you're spam, not a spam person. person. Okay. Okay. I'm just, I'm always curious. My father-in-law who lives with us, we take care of him. He, uh, oh gosh, there's spam burning, burning in our house every, every morning. Boy. Anyway. Okay. What can you do? All right. I, I got one for you. What's the most unusual place you've been? I don't know. Define unusual. Well, I can give you my example. Let's see. Uh, You're talking about on like the awkward beach. Awkward encounters. Awkward my encounters. My mother was mistaken for my wife like a month ago, and that was just weird. What? Okay. What? <laughs> Buying the Lazy Boy, right? What? Well, Marilyn was the one that set up with the lady for us to go purchase it, and Marilyn was going to go with me. but she Were needed- the people mentally handicapped? Did they know. not have eyes? Did they try know. to figure it out by Braille? I don't know what the deal is. What? Anyway, so I walked in with my mother and my little sister, Lolo, who's 15, and the lady starts talking to my mom and says, oh, well, you must have been the woman I spoke to on the phone because Marilyn was the one that called and set it up. Okay. And so she, so then she was talking to me and then was motioning to my mom and saying, well, why don't you and your wife come over here and grab the chair? And I'm like, that's my mom. She goes, oh, and then points to my little sister. So that's your wife. And then and then continues that's still, talking. That's still more understandable. And, and, we I to totally... wait, and we have to wait a moment for her to stop talking to correctors. I'm sitting there like, this is weird. 
haven't been in this situation this before. Still, this is still better than what I was thinking. I thought they were. T- I thought you were talking about Marilyn's mom. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so that was just, your mom's so, way cute. So, it says, so it's like whatever. What's the, what, what was it? Weirdest place you'd been? Yeah, and weirdest place you've been. That was the weirdest place situation. I've been. <laughs> you know, that was kind of like. Well, that's good. Because, I'm not going to share there, mine. There's then. so many. There are so many social, like situations where something's mistaken, and you just kind of go with it, just because like whatever. And that's not one of the ones that you go with. <laughs> uh oh! Now Bex is here. So <laughs> I'm glad we finished that story. Sorry, Bex, we were talking about uh, the weirdest things that you've seen in somebody's home, and I was talking about how uh, <laughs> how I wanted you to make a dead person's head to put in a glass jar for me. <laughs> anyway, so we have that on our list. Oh, well, somebody, welcomed, somebody, welcome to our home. Define your last bowel movement with a movie title. Tropic Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the boom. Um... Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's horrible. And we'll, <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. Can't breathe. <laughs> oh, 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 my goodness. So we're going to move on from that one. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, I have one for you. I I want to hear you answer this. Uh, here's here's one yes, for you. And I'm put weird enough, and I'm putting. <laughs> we are. We had a disclaimer at the beginning of the podcast. <laughs> we are not doing anything serious today because we just don't give a crap. So. Just uh, we're just in that kind of mood today. Both of us are, which is really nice because we're in the same place. So, all right. So here's the question. What do you think you are much better at than you actually are? <laughs> Again, I don't know if I want to Podcasting. Podcasting. <laughs> Talk show hosts. <laughs> uh. I don't know. It's my parenting. Wife. I just need to make sure my wife's not watching before I answer some of these questions. Um, let's see. Uh, what do you think you are much better at than you actually are? The list is so long. <laughs> it's kind of like my cheeks hurt. It's kind of like. Stretching my face out. It's kind of like those moments that that maybe you're like singing a song because you've got a song in your head. You think you're alone, and then you happen to have a vindictive sibling that was recording it. And you hear it back, and you're like, "The heck is that?" <laughs> you know, or you're dancing because you think you're cool, and then someone records it, and you look at it, and you're like, "It looks what like the... flubber." You know, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, that's how I look. Okay, <laughs> you know. It's kind of like those moments where it's like, you know, you're supposed to, you know, you're trying to, you're trying to, uh, you know, get something off your lip without looking, without looking weird in a public space or you know, you're meeting somebody for the first time and, and you end up looking something like this, you know, me frosting cakes, not too much. I still anyway. think that was pretty good. I took a class with Ethany and Kathy Lynn and Jessica. We paid a professional dick, uh, cake decorator to come over to our house. And uh, I wanted to I wanted to try it too. And I thought I thought it turned out really well. It wasn't you know, I just did two little cakes. And by the time everyone else did theirs, you know, it looked like mine was the special ed cake, but whatever. It was still nice. All right. It tasted the best. So, <gasps> so this one, it'll take a little bit of thought. Of course, Ethany cooked them, though. Mm, it'll cheap. take a little bit of thought, but what ridiculous and untrue, yet slightly plausible theories can you come up with for the cause of common ailments like headaches or cavities? Think about that one, and maybe we'll get back to it, because that will take a little bit of thought. But um, 
Let's see. Repeat that again. Um, let's see. What ridiculous and untrue yet slightly plausible theories can you come up with for the cause of common ailments like headaches or cavities? And it, it depends on the time period. Because like 200 years ago, you be you got ghosts in your blood. That's why you have a headache. Hmm. It's like that. It's like that. That I, I swear it's it went around Twitter yeah, for a while. But I'm one of those wacko people that says, "We'll prove that you don't." Um, I frankly, I think for the toothache one for cavities, I think it's because actually what's happening is at night the tooth fairy is showing up, or she's got little henchmen that come in and coat your teeth or plant little things to eat away. They 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 put some live bacteria because all they got to do is just drop it in your mouth because you're you know you're mm, just drop it in there and create a cavity. That's good. Grandma told me cavities were from earwigs in my mouth. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. No, terrifying. <clears throat> all right. I had an earwig in my ear. What fictional character is amazing in their book slash slow? show slash movie but would be insufferable if you had to deal with them in mundane everyday situations probably most people harry potter i think the individuals in harry potter i think harry potter was a butthead i think they're just, i liked all the other characters i think he was all the other characters and i've hit a point mm. that i even look at teenagers and they don't have to do anything i'm just like I can't stand you. no it's just like every single movie that you watch man i love the movies i love the books except for the ending I, 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 Sherlock I, Holmes. I what's that I don't think I get along with Sherlock Holmes. Um, well, see, here would be the thing. I, Sherlock Holmes would say things about other people, and then I would laugh hysterically. And then he'd make fun of me, and then I would punch him in the parking lot. Yeah, like I said. So he'd be, But you, if you had to deal with him on a day-to-day basis, like, they wouldn't be I don't know. Like I don't know. Sherlock Holmes would be, because I think I'm a lot like, uh, personality-wise, a lot like... Um, Oh, I think I would get along with him. Fair enough. I mean, I have some pretty odd friends. I mean, you and I get along. <laughs> All right, we're moving on. <laughs> or, or rather, I guess it's your turn. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Should kidneys be able to be bought and sold? Sure, why not? Okay, moving on. <laughs> well, actually, hold on a second. <coughs> oh, there's a butt. Pro- if you could prove that you were the rightful owner of said Because <laughs> I don't just want to wake up with some scar. Ugh. Okay. What would you name your boat if you had one? How about Please Don't Sink? Well, for me, if it's my boat, it would have to be big like me. So I would probably call it, oh my gosh, it's coming towards us. <laughs> like the sizes, you know, like my pants. They're small, and there's medium, there's large, there's extra large, and oh my gosh, it's coming towards us. Yeah. I have one I for would, you. I would call it like, please don't sink the third. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'd call it, please don't sink the third. The third? So when people got on, they'd question... <laughs> What do you mean this is the third? <laughs> What's your cure for hiccups? The only cure that there is, you take a massively deep breath and you hold it for as long as you can. They go away every time. I just don't want them and they go away. It annoys the crap out of your mom and your sisters. Jamie Taylor's turned out to be able to do that the same way that I do. Just not want them. And they go away. It's, it's always been that way for me. Just not want them. I get hiccups, but a moment later, nope, they're gone. I don't know why. I just don't want them and they go away. Neener. Okay. Willpower. Ta-da. Have you ever seen a movie that you refuse to watch again? Oh, so many. Many, many, many. For lots and lots of reasons. What's the most recent one? Because I have one. The most recent one that I watched or the most recent one I was reminded of because Jessica was watching it in my living room. What's that? 10,000 BC. Oh, I... Such a stupid. I movie. saw it on there, and I can't even remember what the movie was like. Uncle Bob bought but it, I and we rem- watched it at his house. And I remember, uh, and we we're like, "This I, is garbage." 
I just remember I liked it. I did not like it so badly I would not watch it again. But I'll tell you one that I absolutely will not watch again that I absolutely hated it was the latest Star Wars movie. I Stop absolutely hate it. I haven't seen a lot of the newer movies. Uh, well, you wait until it comes out and you can do it for a buck because I almost asked for my money back. I was so angry. Yeah, Let's see. They just... Uh, movies I wouldn't... I'll tell you... Uh, I won't watch Schindler's List again. Couldn't emotionally handle it. I, I had watch... to stop the moment that there was that little red jacket on the back of the wagon. I had your mom pause the movie and I had to go into the other room and cry for about 20 minutes. Yeah. I couldn't handle I would, it. I would watch that again to watch it with my wife who hasn't seen it. Oh, for, for, I couldn't, because I couldn't I think, do it. Because I think it's a, it's a good movie to see once. Um, I don't think I could watch Light Between the Oceans again. Um, let's see. But as far as movies, but for different reasons. There are movies that you just think are retarded. Like I am 95%. Sam. Why is that, why is that something? I Am Sam is, why is that something was difficult to watch. I don't think I've seen it. But... I don't know. I think it, like I said, it depends on, it depends on why. Um, so I am Sam. So that I, maybe I, I believe I'm thinking the same movie. The guy's trying to get rights to his, to his daughter because uh-huh. the wife's or the mother. I don't know if she's, I don't remember if she died. Or she's not in the picture. Okay. He's mentally handicapped. Oy. So he knows he loves his daughter, but she's like, she's like eight years old or something like that. She's m- mentally matured more than, more him. than him. Okay. So he wants rights so that he can be your father. Boy. They want to take her away, put her in a home because he's dangerous to be around and can't take care of her and things like that. So it's the struggle of him trying to Boy. be rights to at least be her dad. Cause, okay. cause he, cause he understands enough to, to know I am her dad and I ought to take care of her and I love her. So I believe that's the one. Um, wow. Okay, anyway, I, I don't have any interest in seeing it. I don't think I can um, handle that, but there are movies that are just terrible. Like they're just terribly done. They're boring. They're just stupid. So I think the first movie that I can think of, oh, I'm trying to remember the name of it. I have to look at. I swear it was called like Doom. No, it was called Legion. Okay. I so, saw that too. Totally agree. So when I was, okay. so when it came out, when it came out, I was, I was, I just turned 16. Okay. I had two buddies, Jeremiah and Craig. And okay, so, so we decided we're gonna watch, we're gonna watch. You know, it's supposed to, it was supposed to be the scary thriller or whatever, right? Okay. So we're like, okay, we're gonna get this movie. They're 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 in there. They were like twenty one at the time. Um, Craig, he was working at a gas station. This is one of the thing with the legs and everything at the at the was it the gas station or at the little yeah. restaurant or whatever. Yeah, it's just completely retarded. Okay. Anyway, and um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so. So my buddy, uh, my buddy Craig, he goes, "Well, come over to my house because he worked. He worked at the gas station, and he just won, he just won three hundred two liter bottles of Mountain Dew." What? And so we walk in, and all his furniture is made out of Mountain Dew bottles. He's just like <laughs> stacked them up, put a board, stacked more up, put a board. So his so his desk is a bunch of Mountain Dew bottles stacked on top of each other with a sheet over them, and then like his bed is a bunch of Mountain Dews with a mattress on it, you know. And he goes, "Yeah, just grab one somewhere and open it. Like we have our drinks for the evening." It was. <laughs> And Mountain Dew is terrible anyway, but but it was kind of funny. And we never went through it. When he moved out of the house, he left them all there. Just like, it was just like this mountain, massive thing of Mountain Dew. It was terrible. Anyway, so we're all sitting Which there. Which people will never know if it's Mountain Dew or urine. Yeah, it came from it came from a from a young male's room. Like you have no idea. It came from a torrent. <laughs> anyway, so we're so uh, we are it's never going to end. Yeah. So we're sitting down to watch Legion. And in the beginning of the movie, you've got all these demons, the CGI, and it was one of those movies where they spent all their money on CGI and none mm. of it on the writing or anything else. So they're showing all these like demons and creatures, and then it's supposed to be this guy that's supposed to be like Michael the Archangel, because God gave up on Earth, so he ripped off his own wings to come down. He plays a heck of a lot better as Vision. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he plays a lot better as a lot of things. He plays better in A Knight's Tale. Um, we're not picking on you. We're picking on your entire race. <laughs> it's all of you. Um, anyway, so we're so we're watching Legion. Be and careful, then, Mother Wealth. You're being utterly ridiculous. I can't believe this is a shared pod. You can't put that crap. You can't say that crap on a. I'm associated with you when you say stupid things like that. 
Good grief. <laughs> I'm gonna finish my story now. So we're watching so we're watching Legion. And uh and the beginning scene, you know, it's a bunch of demons, a bunch of other stuff like that. And you got and I guess the reason that uh, the, the, I guess the first sign of saying someone turning into a demon or whatever is that like teeth get elongated or something like that. And so he so so he's he's up close to the gate and there are all these demons flying around. He's like, Let me in. They're like, Show us your teeth. So he so he does this. And I look over at the, the two other guys, and they both kind of look at me, and we're all going. <laughs> you know, at that point, we're like, this is a retarded movie. <laughs> this is the beginning of the movie. It's the beginning of the, the beginning. end. It's the beginning of the movie. And then and then we're kind of like, okay, that was funny. We all kind of get a laugh about it. And we watched the rest of the movie, just horrible, terrible movie. Um, you know why? Because I think, if I remember correctly, I think that came out the same time that Constantine came out, and that was a really good movie. It was disturbing, but it was much better done. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, Banana at the Hilton, start singing. Shake those hips, baby. Shake but those if hips. We're about movies, if we're talking about <laughs> movies that, that we, we wouldn't watch again, let's talk about some movies that we can watch repeatedly. Ooh. Okay. So I have, I have three movies that come to mind. Hitch. Because... I really like that movie. I liked Will Smith. I like Kevin James. And, and another one is you're going to say The Last Samurai. Yep. The next one's The Last Samurai. Uh, and then the last one is um, The Bachelor Weekend or The Stag. Hmm. Um, I can watch those movies all the time consistently the whole bit. They're fantastic. I enjoy them quite a bit. I can watch um, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. The original. The one with Gene Wilder. The original with Gene Wilder, because Gene Wilder makes it brilliant. That's why I watch it. Um, Let's see. I can watch... Oh, gosh. There's lots of them that I can watch over and over repeatedly. Um, What? Do you have another one? Turn on well, I, those are my top three, but then I was gonna say, like almost. Any oh, I can't, I can't movies. think, of, I can't think of a top three. Well, I can because I've probably watched a Will, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I've probably seen seventy. No, has to be at least eighty times, easily. Um, the other one that I know that um, I could watch repeatedly over and over is uh, The Greatest Showman, the new one which we got last night, and you haven't seen. So nope, we're planning on it. Uh, that uh, that has taken the place of my number one spot. Best movie ever made, period, any genre, because it's my life. Uh, and it's all the good things that I try to hang on to where, yeah, it's just the best movie. Uh, another one that I can watch over and over and over, which I have, unfortunately, it's just because when I in a, am in a bad mood, I just like watching it. puts me in a better mood is the original John Wick. <laughs> it's a no point movie. You killed my dog. I could give a crap. I just like how he, I just like it. Anyway, going after that, uh, a movie I can watch over and over and not in my top anything. I definitely would be the last samurai. Um, I think the other ones. What are the ones that what are the ones that we want watch when we want to be comforted? Oh, I'll tell you a movie that I've watched at least thirty close to forty times now. The holiday. The yeah, holiday is okay. It just meant it it's the <laughs> I and I always laugh at the same point and your mom still gasps gasps when we're watching that movie and and Kate Winslet is describing how she can relate to Jack Black of what he's going through. And she goes on and rambles on and says, because I know this. And she goes through her story, what he's done. He looks at her and he goes, well, F, you need this more than I do. And he hands it to her and I just burst out laughing. See, I'm more of a, as far as, as far as stuff to watch over and over, I'm, I watch TV shows more than I do movies. There's that. And I'll watch The Office and Parks and Rec. I will watch the original Office. I don't like the U.S. The Office one. I, I, I don't care for that. I watched. I watched the British one. The thing was, is it takes a little. It takes a little bit to get into. You know, it's like Parks and Rec. You know, it took a little bit to get into. But I'd watch the Parks and Rec, and I'd watch the Office. I mean, I've watched the Office, the whole series from beginning to finish, 
13, 14 times. Wow. Hundreds and hundreds of hours I've spent watching that show. You know what? You're, both your mother and I have done that with one show and one show only as time goes by. Oi, best British show ever made. Yes. I love it. Other than Top Gear, I'll watch that. Oh, and I'll watch Doctor Who. Gosh, I don't know how many thousands of times we've watched Doctor Who. You see, I, I think, and part of it is because I felt like when I when I started watching The Office forever ago, before it even finished, uh -huh. um, I was in a, maybe not a great place mm -hmm. at the time, and it, uh, it was instrumental in helping me feel better and move on and kind of, and so there, it, I it just holds, use ice cream. So it holds that kind of emotional, uh, hold over me or that place yeah. that's so, why i get ice cream with nuts <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. you can't fault me we knew what kind of show we were having coming into this today i am free to say what i want to say and so are you okay you know there's, there's a guy on craig's old crew <laughs> and he had an accident while framing and uh he had to have one of his testicles removed <laughs> His name was Juan, and they called him Juan Nut for years and years. I remember the first time I met him, they're like, this is Juan Nut. I was like, I was like, what? That's a weird, that's a weird thing to, uh, to call somebody. And they're like, yeah, ask him why. He's looking at us just like, and he's like this like 5'4 Mexican guy, like one of the hardest workers, but he's looking at us like, I will end you. I will end you, S.A. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, oh, here you go. If someone narrated, here, here's the question in chat. If someone narrated your life, who would you want to be the narrator? If someone says Morgan Freeman, <laughs> the stream's over. <laughs> Let's see. Who would I want to narrate? I have to think about that for a moment. You know what I imagine, though? Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> See, I, I think of something comical, but it reminds me of a Reddit post I saw. But they're like, they want to show, they want to show a a or they want to do a movie with a like little girl going through like middle grade, and mm -hmm. have it narrated by Samuel Jackson. What? Just the ever. idea of this like heavy voice, and and the idea of it was kind of funny. I think Samuel Jackson's a just a terrible actor. Okay, okay, it's not that he's terrible. It's that he's the same actor in every single thing 100% of the time. It's terrible. Oh, my goodness. But let's see. Narrate my life. Yeah. Um, Who would you want it to be? I don't know. Michael Kramer? I know who I'd like mine to be. John Hurt. That's not bad. Yeah. He's got an epic voice. Um, I like Michael Kramer. Uh, he did the audiobooks yeah. for Miss Bourne, things like that. Oh, well, I haven't, he was, he was I haven't heard read them. I haven't heard that. No. Um, let's see. I don't know. <laughs> what? Who? I just the, who? I, I can't have so so many of these thoughts on the internet. I, <laughs> I, it's you know. It's gonna be permanent. Make sure you say the right thing. I've come to terms with not and 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 like got gotten to a point where i don't open my mouth with everything Ooh, sam know. elliott good choice that's a brilliant choice boy i hope he uh, sam I elliott as long as he's being his sarcastic self then it would work for me <gasps> okay go ahead sorry yeah, no nope. so it's sorry just... <laughs> let's see um what's the most embarrassing thing you have ever worn Okay, well, I it's not that we we wear embarrassing things, but you kind of look back now and you think, why were popped collars really a thing? And I th and, it was and all I, the preppy guys. I know, but I thought I was cool for like a brief period with popped collars. I remember my mom like, put it down, put it down. You look retarded. I, I was like, no, I look cool, mom. What if I told you that I know who could narrate both our lives and it would be the right person? One okay. person. Nathan Fillion. Yeah, I did. 
he would do both of us justice and he would merge our stories together because then he would start yours with and so Jamie evolved into a greater Pokemon. Okay. <laughs> if you were arrested with no explanation, what would your friends and family assume you had done? I was arrested with no explanation. I, I, I know. When we've talked about it before. But uh-huh. if you were arrested, what would what do, would we assume you were arrested for? Boy. Um... Probably hurting someone that broke into the house. See, my mind goes to that too, but I think that uh, I'm like, I don't know, because I can't think of anything. Be- what would I being what? too sarcastic to a cop? Like, I don't know. Oh. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying no, that it was a legal n- arrest. <laughs> no, I no, I think I'm. I think I'm. I'm too disciplined, and uh, no, I'm not. I'm not stupid that way. I would. I, I'm too much of a player of the game. I don't think I would ever be arrested for that. Um, I don't know. What would you think that I could be arrested Repeated for? Repeated traffic violations? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. Mom always complains that I drive like a little old woman. And I always complain that she's... I, think, so, so I always complain kind of that like your the, mom's the one that always gets the gets the tickets it's that of, I got to pay. It's kind of like how uh, when, when we asked the question earlier... You know, what crime could you be immune to? Like, we don't really break a lot of laws, so I don't really know what, you know. I don't I don't know about you. I don't break any. Of course not. Model citizens. Exactly right. Yeah. Exactly right. Oh, show the, do you still have the pictures up of that fence for the HOA? You should show that. <laughs> see if I can find it. <laughs> So we have an HOA in our area. So for those that don't know, an HOA is a homeowners association. Basically, it's like letting Satan dictate everything um, in your neighborhood. It's it's horrible, terrible. And since we're just re- and since we're just renting where we're at, like it's not. You know, oh, I found it. We, we don't have it. We don't have a say. I found it. And I can I can send the I can send, send the chat. yes. Uh, yeah. So one of the rules in our HOA is you can't have your garbage cans seen by the street. And our, we had had our garbage cans in the same place for four and a half years. And all of a sudden it's a problem. <laughs> so, so we have to move them out of sight all of a sudden because it's so against the neighborhood. Anyway, so this person had to deal with the same thing. Saw this picture. It made me laugh because screw HOAs. <laughs> it's just... It's just terrible. I love it. So, <laughs> what? <coughs> Sam Desar. Wow. Nice to see you. I'm glad you're still alive. You're catching us right at the end of our podcast. <laughs> well, we still got 15 minutes or so. Okay. So I like that picture. I can sit here for that long. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, those are, so those are some of the questions I went through. Um but here's one. If you die and find out that everyone gets to choose a 12 foot by 12 foot square to stay in alone for eternity without being able to influence or contact the living world, what 12 foot by 12 foot square would you choose? I mean, assuming it would be like where, where would you want to be stuck viewing the world? What the? I refuse to answer that question. I have no idea how to answer that. That's that's hell. So I'm going to fight you and hurt you. You're going to have to put me so, there. So you're in hell? Yeah, I'm in hell. In one t- sentence, how would you like to, or how would you sum up the internet? About want to fight? I think we could call, we have Facebook. I think the whole internet is in your Facebook. The internet is. It's. Emotional vomit. Oh yeah, okay. So Bex is asking, but you're dead. Yeah. That okay? So we're dead and have to have a twelve foot by twelve foot space. Yeah. Well, why? If you got to stay there for all eternity and seeing life, everything is going to change around you. For all you know, they're going to build a building on top of your head. Right. So you have to. You need to be a little bit higher than maybe. <laughs> yeah. Get a plane up my backside. Pristine beach somewhere. Hope it doesn't go underwater. But if it goes underwater, it might be interesting. You know. No, screw that. 
you have to fight me to stick me somewhere. Somewhere on Everest so you can laugh at all the highly motivated people. You mean like the like the vegan? Tell that story, Evan. Tell that story. That's See, a funny story. I can't, I can't. It's hard to laugh. Just at have fun. Just have fun. There's so no the, apologies the today. Head, the headline was... Well, just stay away from swearing everything else as a go. Vegan climbs Mount Everest to prove <laughs> that vegans aren't weak. Dies. <laughs> <laughs> and we're I not laughing I that someone died. We're laughing that died. a vegan says that I'm going to climb Mount Everest to prove that vegans are strong enough and die. And they die. Why? Because she didn't have enough strength. And that headline just really caught me off guard. That made me Whoa. laugh. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> this is your kind of question, Evan. Great. When was the last time you were snooping and found something you wish you hadn't? <laughs> Can't talk about that. <laughs> then go down a notch. <laughs> um, I don't. I think. I think the the problem is drink water with style, Fiji. Sure, sure, stylish. It's water, and it came from Walmart. <laughs> stylish and classy as it gets. Right? <laughs> Middle of the desert, which I have to point out that our humidity level and our water level is lower than the Sahara, in here in the Wasatch Basin where we live. Mm. We are drier than the Sahara Desert. Here in Utah. Wow. Which is funny <coughs> because we're the dry we're drier than there. <coughs> but out of the top ten places in the United States that get snow, we are three. Utah has three locations on that list. Wow. We have the best snow on the planet. That's why it says best snow on earth. That's our slogan. What does that mean? Come here to ski world. Ski and snowboard. We need to cut from everything. Fuji needs to send me water now. Or a check. Now that we've <laughs> now that we've had everything. Uh, Bex has never snooped in her life. Oh, I think a nose just shot out of the monitor and poked me in the eye. See, I, I so snooping. Um. <laughs> so here's the here's the thing. I don't snoop. I I impede conversations. <laughs> Yes, you do. <laughs> so I'm I'm not like listening in and trying to figure it out. I'm just I am openly like oh is waiting that what you're for some to draw breath. Oh, is that what you're talking about? I'm just gonna jump right into this conversation. It's none of my business. And then you re- try to relate it to something else. You do try to do a segue. And it's kind of like it's <laughs> it's a terrible habit that I'm not gonna stop for the time being. But <laughs> But it's also because, like, we don't uh, – I don't get out much. Most of the time, it's spending time with family and things like that. And you guys know how it is with your family. There's information that maybe isn't talked about out in the open. Some people's children. Yeah, right? Taught by some people's parents. I just, um, my, you know, my, my wife goes, oh, hey, some people's at least this. I'm not a torn parent. <laughs> at least you didn't birth, birth this little calf. Just be killed by a lion's. Brought into this merciless world. Eaten by a lion. Oh, how would that be? Oh, I feel for him. Goldshire and just on the spit. <laughs> Veal. All right. <laughs> That's, it. It's just... <laughs> That's it. I'm getting on a plane to Utah. I don't think they allowed... They planes. don't. You're over the weight limit, dear. <laughs> gonna have to you take, walked into that one. You're going to have to take the deep run tram. <laughs> which is about as accurate as I'm going to get on a b- <coughs> boat to Ohio. <laughs> it's like, from where to where? It's just terrible. Anyway, I say when we're done with this, we're going to go to Walmart. 
We're going to get the stuff. We're going to make some spicy kimchi fried rice. We're going to put some of our hot sauce on it and laugh Love and the choke and burn. Regret tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> okay, I have one for you. Okay. And this is actually a curious one. Let's see what kind of serious uh, answer you've got. What smartphone feature would you actually be excited for a company to implement? I know for me it would be a taser. <laughs> oh, God. No, it, that wouldn't be good because then you'd <laughs> sit on it wrong. <laughs> It'd be in your pocket. I didn't think about that. And then you'd sit on it. <clears throat> and it would oh, hurt. Goodness. And then you couldn't get up. <laughs> my butt and can't then, stop every, Everyone's clenching. looking at you and you're puckering everywhere. Oh, my goodness. It would just be the worst. <laughs> the absolute worst. Or my daughter. I'd walk in and she'd be like putting in her mouth and be like, no, stop. <laughs> and I'd be like, okay, that's funny. But I'll you know, do it again. But just let me watch this time. Uh, as far as an actual, I don't know. I'm not... Uh, I don't know. I'm not too big on on. I don't. I don't. I don't care for smartphones. But I mean, I have one, but I'm not very attached to it. So we'll go with the taser one then. Okay. What about this? What's something people don't worry about, but they really should? I don't know. Um, <laughs> oh, the, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff. Between how you look to, uh, jokingly, how you look, what you smell like. Um, that some people don't tend to, tend to care about. But uh, on a legitimate note, uh, what they should, what, what was again, that what they. What's something people don't worry about but really should? How about jumping to. Jumping to conclusions. Well, that's my favorite. Yeah, jumping Making to conclusions. assumptions. It just makes an ass out of you I'm, and you. I'm sorry. I, I read it somewhere and I repeated it to a coworker one day. Um, and I got I got I got in a little bit of trouble for it. I was like, I'm surprised you're still fat with how often you jump to conclusions. And she was like, <laughs> <coughs> the first one came from Fiji. All the refills came from Walmart. So Bex knows. I refuse that. I'm not electrical induced diarrhea. <laughs> and Craig's just on a banana thing. Someone, someone in Ohio, get that man a banana. Get him a pack of bananas so he can eat bananas and be sick of them. Find the closest delivery place. Be like, I need you to go pick up a banana and drop it off. Said hotel. Okay, we are at 4.55, so we'll close with this one. What is the funniest joke you know by heart? No, I don't have one. <laughs> that you can put on the internet, huh? I don't have one. Fortunately for, for you guys in the Netherlands, I do have family members and people that know me in my community that, that watch the stream. Or go back and watch it, and um, I would be burned at the stake for some of the jokes. <laughs> now, now, in all fairness, I feel like they were appropriate enough because they were told me about my grandmother. But, <laughs> but we'll just stop there. You know, there's one that my there's <clears throat> there's there's one I I know by heart, not because it was particularly funny, but because. It was told to me so many times by Daniel Perry. So there's this duck, and he goes to a hardware store. And he says, do you got any grapes? And the guy says, no, we don't have any grapes. This is a hardware store. Yeah. This duck says, okay, and he leaves. And he comes back the next day. Got any grapes? So I told you yesterday, this is a hardware store. We don't carry grapes. Mm -hmm. So duck leaves, comes back the third day. Got any grapes? He says, he says, I've told you. If you tell me again, I'll nail your feet to the floor. If, or if you ask me again for grapes, I'll nail your feet to the floor. So he comes back the next day and he goes, got any nails? The guy goes, no, we're fresh out. He goes, cool, got any grapes? <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah. that joke. He told me that joke. I like that joke. Thousands of times. <clears throat>
<clears throat> when Pokemon Go came out and he was catching um, Golducks, he named it Got. He he had three of them. Got any grapes? <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, I I I, I I know that my favorite joke is the one that Papa tells. Yep. And my my dad my dad used to be the top. Uh, oh gosh, what was the company's Brush. name? I don't remember. Fuller Brush, the Fuller Brush Company. He was the top brush salesman in the United States when I was a little kid. Anyway, so my dad used to tell this joke. Let's see if I can do this with the <clears throat> with the proper sound effects here. <laughs> so there's this uh, handicapped individual who walks into the uh, corporate office of the Fuller Brush Company and says, Excuse me, I, I like to get a job here. And uh, they kept sending him down, finally down to the sales manager, who was really uncomfortable and embarrassed having this guy around. So he figures, all right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to break this kid down. I'm going to give him, you know, some of the worst toothbrushes of all things to sell. I'm going to give him a, a, a pack of toothbrushes and send him away with that. And he says, all right, I'll tell you what, you, you take this pack of toothbrushes uh, and if you can sell them all, uh, we'll talk. And so the kid, thank you very much. And he leaves and he comes back the next day with this wad of cash and he gives it to the sales manager and sales manager is just, he's amazed, amazed. And, uh, but still this kid, he's just oddly dressed and so can I have a good job, please? And, uh, he just didn't want to have him around. So he pulls in the, the, the missing bristles again, tooth toothbrushes and missing bristles, things that they that they use for cleaning the machinery there at the factory. Though it's just absolute garbage. So I'll tell you what, you sell all of these, every single one, and I'll give you a job. You go okay, I can do that. And he leaves, and he comes back the next day with a wad of cash and sold every single toothbrush. And the sales manager's like, this is unheard of. He says, oh, well, kid, I'll tell you, I'm, I don't care what you look like or what you sound like. I'll give you the job. He says, but tell me, wh how the heck did you sell these toothbrushes? And the kid smiles and says, well, I, I got up early in the morning, and I went out to the busy street on the corner, and I set up my little table, and then I put on my tablecloth, and I put out a little, the little dip and some chips, and then I put the toothbrushes there on the little sign to say free chips and chips. And people come by and they say, oh, these are free, these are free. And they take the chip and they put it in the dip and they put it in their mouth and crush it. They say, ooh, this tastes like shit. I say it is one by two plus. You know what's funny is you're you're doing that speak to a bunch of people whose correct me if I'm wrong, first language isn't English. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a bit harder to understand. <laughs> I like that joke. My dad's been telling me that joke since I was a little kid. It always, I I have fun telling that joke. My dad can do it so well. It's just it's the one joke he can always remember. You know, other than you know, dad, am I adopted? Yes, but they brought you back. So, you know, I I remember the first time I heard my dad's sar just his sarcasm. My dad he loves his family. He's I I love my dad, but. No, not a but. This is an and. We would go out. He would take us out to dinner. For like, there was like three years that I can remember where every single Sunday he would take us to uh, Chinese food. He knew the owner of a uh, an authentic, a real Chinese restaurant down in the Bay Area. And after church, we'd go to church. And then afterwards, he'd take us. And there were maybe five or six of us. You know, from my mom, I'm the oldest of ten. 
And uh, anyway, I think there was like five or six of us, and we, we'd go down there. And it was funny. I remember that we were. We were always trained how to behave. And when I go out with you kids, I mean, whenever we go to you know Jim's family restaurant, whenever, my children are so well behaved. And frankly, I think most of it is either they're born that way and they have an amazing mom. Um, but I think we, we were really well behaved little kids and old people would just come up and say, oh, your children, they're so lovely. My dad would say, thank you. Thank you so much. He says, I, I take them everywhere. And then my dad would pause and say, for some strange reason, they always seem to find their way home. And he would do it with a straight face and people would panic and my mom would burst out laughing, which made the whole line seem that much more sinister. <laughs> so anyway. I think it was too long, mister. Uh, what's that? Or was it too long? What? I know a similar one that might not. Uh, yeah, I think your joke, I think it was too long. I don't think it came through. Yeah. Anyway. This All is right. About, this is about the, as much as I can sit. So. Yep. And we're out of time. It's the end of the show. But thank you guys for hanging out today. I'm glad you guys showed up and had fun. Week. Last week was kind of hectic moving the yeah. office. And, and just so we I briefly mentioned before, like, you know, I so I cracked my ribs. You know, they're just they're still healing. Apparently, I also cracked my pelvis. So. So I've, I've hit my limit about. As much as don't, I can sit in this chair. Don't, don't slide with cars anymore. We wanted to dance. I think I, I think you will get a lot stronger if you start eating more taurin. More beef. More, more beef. beef. More beef. And lots of natural milk, too. <laughs> uh, that's my last one for the night. <laughs> uh... <laughs> You're welcome, Craig, and I hope everything goes well. When are you coming home, Craig? <clears throat> I agree, Mister. <clears throat> All right, and I, I don't. Guess. We don't have anyone. I don't have any friends on that are streaming right now, so we're just going to be uh, closing without rating. Closing without rating. I always feel bad. I always want to give it to somebody, but I don't. Uh, we, you know what? We do have someone. We have Pamadak. Which that would really be a that would be a good one. We go over to Pam. Pam's awesome. Um, we really like Pam. She's an amazing artist. She's a cartoonist as well. Ooh, she is working on something fabulous. So I'm gonna turn this on and we're gonna do a little raid right now. So here's what we've got. Uh, we're gonna for those of you who are with us. Ha 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 ha. Uh, I will be back at three o'clock, three o'clock my time. So there's our, uh, our emotes and we're going to, let's see. Yep. Thank you so much. Let's see. We're going to do raid Pam Adak. There we go. Please join me. You guys, if you don't know Pam, she is an amazing, amazing artist. So I'll go there. And uh, I will be back uh, tomorrow doing um, doing art. Yeah, stuff. We'll be here. Hang out with me. Hang out with me tomorrow. So love y'all. We'll talk to you soon. And come say hi to Pam. We'll see you then.